button if you've been here a couple of times thank you so much for joining me again please make sure you watch this video to the end that will really mean a lot to me okay um today i'm here to talk about four things that brings confusion i'm going to start by saying that i'm a huge fan of joyce Meyer. in one of our podcasts titled a peaceful mind she she explained why people get confused especially in the area of decision making at some point or the other in our lives you know we have to make decisions even as adults and even as a leader if you're a leader you're an adult and everything you know it all comes back to you to make decisions that's going to benefit you and also the people that are following you your followers and i'm going to go briefly to the four things that joyce actually said that i wish you know as i was listening to her i just felt the need to you know bring it out here on this platform as well just to share to my viewers and our first point says lack of confidence to make decisions this point actually brings confusion to people and you know making no decision at all is a decision so you just have to summon up the courage to make the decision and a second point says listening to too many people this is like my favorite because each one of us have been guilty of this at one point or the other in our lives so when we go to this person what do you think i should do about this what do you think what do you think i should do about this and the point is even these people we are going to meet of course we all have issues we are going through and these people are just going to bring they're going to tell you what they think personally when you get a personal view from this person a personal view from that person you're gonna get confused and then you won't know who to go to or whose idea to follow you know some of us actually been there and they <laughs> God, I want to do something. Then you go to like five, six, seven people asking for their opinion. There is no way confusion is not going to set in. So an advice, or let me say, um, a personal advice today is just find one or two people that you trust that judgment. Make sure these people they they have more experience than you. They are physically, spiritually, mentally, intellectually mature than you. You know, you trust that judgment, and you know that whatever it is they bring to you is something you can go to. Of course, they can't force you to go by what they tell you, but then they can guide you to making the right decisions and then the third thing that brings confusion is not making decisions because of the fear of making a mistake we are humans everyone is prone to making mistakes ask everyone anyone that has that has you know, climbed up the ladder in life they're going to tell you of some mistakes some best mistakes that they did when they were young even somewhere they were old so you must not be scared First of all, you must allay that fear. You must get rid of the fear of making a mistake, and because this actually brings confusion, especially into making a decision. And the fourth thing that brings confusion is excessive reasoning. You know, when you reason too much, you think I think I think I'm I'm so guilty of this. You know, sometimes when I want to think of what to hit, should I hit pins? Should I hold her? In? Okay, if I'm going to order, what should I order? Should I order pizza? Is it burger? I would think, and sometimes I think, I think, I think, I think, and then the desire to eat goes away because <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> anyway, that's just by the way. But excessive reasoning brings confusion. When you think too much about it, you're gonna get confused. And what to actually combat this excessive reasoning is just get quiet in your inner mind. Let your mind be quiet. You know, get quiet, then listen to what your head is saying, listen to what your heart is saying, you know, and take the right decision. Because if you think and think and think and think and think so much, that is why it's called excessive reasoning. This brings confusion. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. I hope you've learned a thing or two from this. Kindly like, kindly comment, just drop a comment and share. And if you're not subscribed, please kindly do so. Thank you so much. Thank you.